you know what I think you should watch? I think you should watch. Hello and welcome to Wrestling Jeopardy, the ultimate interactive pro wrestling trivia challenge where you're the contestant. I'm your host, Kevin J. Callis. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I want you to be confident when you're giving your answers, okay? Yes. Do not under any circumstances be fickle, 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 fickle. And with that, let's go to the board now and check out the categories you'll be quizzed on, beginning with custom title belts, followed by do you remember? Up next, we have frenemies, and then ring of honor. And last but certainly not least, turning Japanese. I think I'm turning Japanese, I really think so. All right, it's time to play the game. So let's kick things off with the 200 point jobber round, the easiest round in Wrestling Jeopardy. You should go five for five here. And if you don't, can you really call yourself a wrestling fan? I want you to stop that right now. Yes! And we're on to the 200 point clue from Custom Title Belts. In July 1998, Stone Cold Steve Austin gave the WWE title a Texas Rattlesnake makeover when he revealed what would become known as this belt. The correct answer, what is the Smoking Skull Belt? And we're on to, do you remember, for two. Do you remember when Big E coined the phrase, big meaty men slapping meat? about this wrestler being his dream opponent. This was during the New Day's podcast and they just lost it. <laughs> Big meaty man slapping me. <laughs> when Big E was talking about his dream opponent being Goldberg. <laughs> That's right. Moving on to Frenemies for 200. The team of Daniel Bryan and Kane were also known as this. And that would be, what is Team Hell No? Who wants a group hug? We do. And that brings us to Ring of Honor for 200. While these two wrestlers recently squared off at AEW's All In 2023, it was their trilogy of matches in 2004 that helped put Ring of Honor on the map. The first two of these matches both wound up in time limit draws, and the third one was a win for Samoa Joe. The correct answer, who are CM Punk and Samoa Joe? And let's finish up the 200 point round with turning Japanese. Prince Albert slash A-Train turned into this Japanese Samurai Warrior. And the correct answer here, who is Lord Tensai? Lord Tensei ga kyofu wa aji wa tensei faru. English! All right, let's jump back to custom title belts for 400. The WWE women's title was accidentally ripped in half during a backstage tug of war between these two BFFs. This custom title belt was anything but flawless. The correct answer here, who is Layla and Michelle McCool, otherwise known as Lay Cool. Oopsie! And that brings us to, do you remember, for 400, do you remember when Fatu was trying to make a difference in the mid-1990s WWF? What are we going down? Clean it up! Oh, what are we going down? Let's clean it up! Only to be watched from afar by these two individuals. And we would find out that these two individuals were his former tag team partner, Samu, also known as Sammy the Silk, and his cousin Matt, aka Big Matty Smalls, or Rosie. The correct answer here, who were the Samoan Gangster Party? You don't understand. Handle that, King. What? Look at the size of that monster there. Moving on to Frenemies 4, 400. Stone Cold Steve Austin and Triple H were also known by this team name.
And that would be who is the two-man power trip. We're on to Ring of Honor for 400. Before becoming general manager of Monday Night Raw, this wrestler worked in Ring of Honor and even had a prior on-air authority role as the lieutenant commissioner for ROH under Jim Cornette. And that would be who is Adam Pierce? And let's finish up the 400 point round with turning Japanese. Jamie Noble turned into this masked member of the Young Dragons in WCW. Not the most original name out there, but of course, WCW is gonna WCW. The correct answer here who is Jamie San? All right, 10 questions down, 15 to go, plus the Daily Double is around here somewhere, and Final Jeopardy will be coming up a little bit later on in the episode. But did you know that you can now listen to Wrestling Jeopardy on Spotify or any place that you get your favorite podcasts? Yes! It's true. Listen, listen. The link is below down in the description. All right, and let's jump into the 600-point round and start things off with custom title belts. In 2010, Hulk Hogan presented Jeff Hardy with a new design of the TNA World Heavyweight Championship, which was also known as this championship. And that would be, what is the TNA Immortal Championship? Dudes. And we're on two. Do you remember? For 600. Do you remember back in 2002 when the WWE decided to unify the World Heavyweight and Intercontinental Championships in a match at no mercy between these two wrestlers? And during this time, this was also the infamous Katie Vick storyline. The correct answer here, who is Triple H and Kane? Thank you, Triple H. And we're moving on to Frenemies for 600. Bailey and Sasha Banks also went by this team name. And that is who were the Boss and Hug Connection. And that brings us to Ring of Honor for 600. This Ring of Honor feud won the Wrestling Observer Feud of the Year Award in 2010. And that was the big feud between El Generico and Kevin Steen. And let's close out the 600 point round with turning Japanese. Paul Diamond turned into this masked Japanese member of the Orient Express tag team. And the correct answer, who was Kato? My head. I said, oh, my head. My head. And let's jump back to custom title belts for 800. And there it is, the daily double for this episode coming from custom title belts. Think about how many title belts you remember that have been customized to a specific wrestler and place your wager now. All right, time is up. Here is the Daily Double Clue from Custom Title Belts. When Tommy Dreamer became hardcore champion in 2002, the original belt had become damaged beyond repair. So Dreamer began wearing a customized version of the title with this as the centerpiece. With the hardcore title being retired later that year, Tommy's belt was a replica of the defunct European Championship with a State of New York license plate as the centerpiece. And that brings us to the 800 point clue from Do You Remember? Do you remember back in 2019 when WWE introduced this unique talk show kind of segment on Monday Night Raw hosted by Corey Graves? And the correct answer here, what is the electric chair? <laughs> Moving on to Frenemies for 800, Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy also went by this team name. And 
And the correct answer, who were the deleters of worlds? Uh, run! And we're on to Ring of Honor for eight. This wrestler made his only Ring of Honor appearance at Final Battle 2021 after EC3 said, Free the Titan. And that would be Adam Shear, a.k.a. Braun Strowman. And let's finish up the 800-point round with turning Japanese. Chris Champion turned into this martial artist in WCW whose name was both Japanese and Chinese. And the correct answer, who was Yoshi Kwan? Yoshi being Japanese, Kwan being Chinese. But this gimmick pales in comparison to when Champion was Kawabunga, the Ninja Turtle. Bruh. And that brings us to the most difficult round in wrestling, Jeopardy, the thousand point round. Five questions to go. The steel cage begins to lower. The ominous music begins to play. What do I always say? Get your thinking caps on. It's go time now. Let's kick things off with the thousand point clue from custom title belts. As the planet's champion in 2019, Daniel Bryan unveiled an eco-friendly version of the WWE title made from this material. The new Daniel Bryan changed the climate of the WWE when he debuted this custom title belt made from 100% sustainable organic hemp. This is made from 100% sustainable organic hemp. And we're on to the final clue from Do You Remember? Do you remember when this popular 1980s tag team squared off against each other on the June 16th, 1997 edition of Monday Night Raw? As a way to promote the Fed's fledgling light heavyweight division, Bobby Fulton and Tommy Rogers, better known as the Fantastics, faced off in a match that most have forgotten about. You probably thought it was the Rock and Roll Express, didn't you? And moving on to Frenemies for a thousand. Al Snow and Steve Blackman also went by this team name. This unlikely tandem was an underrated duo during the Attitude Era, with Blackman playing the straight man and Snow the wise guy in the tag team known as Head Cheese. And that brings us to 1,000 Point Clue from Ring of Honor. Eight wrestlers are considered Ring of Honor Triple Crown winners. However, this wrestler was the first to complete the feat back in 2011. Tenacious and resilient are just a few words that spring to mind when thinking of Ring of Honor's first Triple Crown Champion, who is Eddie Edwards. And let's close out the board with turning Japanese for 1,000. Phil Hickerson turned into this Japanese character and was managed by Tojo Yamamoto in USWA. Once billed as Mr. Nashville, Hickerson would adopt the ring name of P.Y. Chuhai, a pun based on Yamamoto's former name of P.Y. Chung and the Japanese alcoholic beverage Chuhai. All right, don't go anywhere. I'm going to pour myself a glass of that uh, Chuhai stuff, but it's time for Final Jeopardy. And here is this episode's category. Evil Russians. For decades, evil Russians have been used as an easy role to garner heat, and as a result, it has one of the greatest longevities of any gimmick in wrestling history, even though most of these commie bastards have never stepped foot inside the motherland. <laughs> Alright, so think about how many evil Russians they've been throughout the years, and place your wager uh, now. All right, time is up. Here is the final Jeopardy clue. After losing a match to the Rockers in May of 1990, Nikolai Volkov began brawling with Boris Zukov, officially disbanding this Soviet team. Good luck. 
While Volkov was a very accomplished wrestler and is in the WWE Hall of Fame, unfortunately none of his success came during his time teaming with Zukov as one half of the Bolsheviks.